becoming a well-rounded performer means that you need to develop some acting skills and also become aware of how you look on stage. A performer who walks onto the stage with rounded shoulders, face looking downward toward the floor, but who has the most technically brilliant voice, will often be outshone by a singer who comes out and emotionally embraces the audience but has an underdeveloped vocal technique. All right? The game of pretend is an important one to engage in as a singer and performer. Do you remember as a child playing a role in a game with friends at school? Did you ever get so engrossed in that role that you simply believed that you were that character? Huh? Did you forget about all else, including going to the toilet before the bell went? Role playing is such an enormous part of our learning when we're children. We placed ourselves in the minds of others, which taught us to empathize and strategize and grow intellectually and emotionally. As a singer, you'll need to, once again, draw on that skill. However, the role that you'll be playing in this game is that of a confident, professional and highly skilled performer. Now you may feel that these things are untrue, but why should it matter? Okay? Pretend that you are all of these things for long enough and eventually you'll believe it. It's like a, a physical affirmation of sorts. Act out this affirmation or role or character with passion and the results will show in everything that you do in your life. Later in this lesson, we're going to move on to the physical acting side of things, but there's more to stage presence than just your physical presence and presentation. The way you feel inside contributes immensely to the power of your stage presence. In fact, the emotion you carry onto the stage with you is the first thing that's communicated to your audience. But how can this be? How can they know how I feel if I'm like acting all confident and stuff, you ask? Well, I know a lot about humans because I happen to be one in case you hadn't noticed, okay? And the one thing I know about humans is that we are emotional creatures. For example, have you ever walked into a room that contained other humans and just felt like there was tension in the air? No one said anything or gave you the secret nod or anything, but you just felt as though something had recently transpired that involved a lot of emotion. Now, this might sound a bit woo-woo, but it's true. It happens all the time. So what is it? How is it that we're able to pick up on these sorts of things? Why is it that when we meet someone for the first time, we decide, whether we're conscious of it or not, if we're going to let them, let that person into our lives or not? Whether we connect or not, you know? The fact is, and it's a scientific fact, mind you, that all things in existence are made up of constantly moving energy particles. Um, that includes trees and grass, rocks, water, animals and humans and everything else you can and can't see. And it also includes your thoughts and emotions. I like to think of the word emotion as two words, emotion energy in motion. So back to my original question of how is it that we're able to pick up on the events that have transpired in a room full of humans without knowing anything about what's been going on? The reason you can feel that something's not quite right when you walk into that room is because the emotions of the people in that room have a vibration which is being transmitted to us on an energetic level. Now, you can choose your news, remember? You don't have to believe me. However, it has been scientifically proven and I'm sure your own experiences will add to that proof. So how does this relate to, to the connection between you as a singer 
And your audience, I'm guessing you already know what I'm going to say here, quite simply, your audience is ideally going to be made up of humans who also have the same faculty which enables them to pick up on the energy being transmitted via your emotions. All right? In simple terms, they feel what you feel. That's why it's so incredibly important to personally experience the story you're telling as you're telling it. With regard to stage presence on the energetic level, it's really important to deliberately choose what emotional presence you want to carry onto the stage with you. Again, how do you want to affect your audience? Do you want them to trust you? If so, then you need to begin to trust yourself. You need to find a way to love yourself. You need to find a way to think positively about all aspects of yourself so that you can feel positively about all aspects of yourself. When you feel this, your audience will have no choice but to feel the same way about you. Remember, you cannot give away that which you don't already possess yourself.